What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that allows us to model with grids inside of Blender. This can be very helpful for a lot of hard surface modeling tasks. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Grid Modeler is an add-on for Blender that basically creates a grid that you can draw along and you can then use that grid in order to perform various different Boolean operations and other things like that inside of Blender. So it can be really helpful for adding details to corners and adding additional little pieces of geometry, other things like that. And so um, I will link both to the developer's homepage, which has documentation, as well as their Gumroad page, where you can purchase the add-on in the notes down below. Um, but what I want to do is kind of walk you through the way that the add-on works. All right, so this add-on is a mesh editing tool, which means that you access it by going into edit mode inside of Blender. So for example, let's say that I wanted to work on this shape right here. What I would do is I would tab into edit mode in order to access it. And then you're going to select something inside of your model and you're going to right click. So in this case, for example, I'm going to select this face. So when I select it, I can go down here, right click and select the option for grid modeler. You're going to notice um, that what this does is this places a grid on the face inside of your model. And so now you can come in here and you can draw different shapes and other things like that that you can then use to perform various operations. So for example, for this one, I could use this to create a Boolean cut into this object. I can adjust the boundary, all those different things. And so I'm gonna undo that. And let's take a little, let's take a look at the grid that this creates. One thing I want to note about this tool is this tool is basically using destructive techniques in order to model, meaning that you can't go back in and access them later. What you do instead is you just kind of make your changes and then they are what they are. So just be aware that that's what this does so that you can't go back and make a whole bunch of changes to what you were doing a little bit later. So let's start off and take a look at our grid. So you're going to notice right now that our grid is inside of our face. We've got a number of different options over here that we can adjust having to do with the grid. So the first is you can tap the A key to set this to either relative or absolute size. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the control key. Notice how if I scroll with the control key, I can adjust the size of the grid that's in here. But if I tap the A key, what that's gonna do is that's going to switch between absolute and relative size. Absolute size is just gonna let you set the size of your grid. And I don't think it's gonna do as much with fitting this onto this face. If you tap the A key and go to relative size and then hold the control key, notice that this grid is being created based on this overall boundary of this object. So you can use this to basically set a grid that aligns with all of the edges of this object. So you can adjust the number of grids with the control key. And then you can also hold the alt key and scroll your mouse button up and down if you want that grid to be bigger than your object. So if I'm ever coming in and I'm cutting things like outside of this face, so if I wanna make a cutter that kind of extends beyond this face, usually I'll hold the Alt key and I'll make this grid plane um, a little bit bigger. So the other cool thing about this, and let's go ahead and create a new shape real quick, is let's say that we had a shape like this one and we wanted to create a grid on this face, but we wanted to basically align this with the edge rather than the face. Well, if I right click in here and I select grid modeler, notice how right now the grid is aligned basically straight up and down, right? And so let's say I wanted this to align with this edge instead. Well, what I could do is I could do a control left click and I could click on this edge. Well, notice how now this grid aligns with this edge rather than this edge. So you can use this to adjust the alignment edge that your grid is based off of by doing a control click. So now let's talk a little bit about the tools that are actually contained in here for editing your model. So let's go back to this shape right here. So there's basically a few different tools in here that you can use in order to make some changes. Let's go ahead and hold alt, scroll up in order to get our grid bigger than our face. So first things first, you come in here and basically what you do is you draw shapes. So for example, let's say that I wanted to add a little bit of detail to this corner right here. Well, what I would do is I would just come in here and just draw a shape like this. Well, now there's um, a few different tools in here that you can use in order to create different operations. So for example, there's an option for create new face, which we'll talk about in a second. You can do a Boolean cut, a Boolean slice, and then an edge pipe. So let's take a look at the Boolean cut. So the way that's gonna work is if I tap the Q key like this, that's gonna put me in Boolean cut mode. And you can come in here and you can adjust the cut 
using the settings right here. So I could use this to remove all of this material or I could use it to create a little cut in the face like this. So you can adjust your boundary offset as well. So um, for example, so you can use this in order to create cuts. You can also use this to create different faces. So let's say you wanted a face that was gonna be in here that kind of goes around the corner like this. So something fairly simple like this and you wanted to extrude out. Well, instead of selecting the Boolean cut, you would tap the three key in order to create a face. And so when you create that face, notice how you now have that piece of geometry in here. You can edit just like a normal piece of geometry. So you could use this in order to create a lot of different things on this face. So in addition, you've got the Boolean slice tool. So let's say we were to go down to this end right here, tab in here and activate grid modeler again. So you could also draw a face across here and you can slice the geometry. So if I was to create a shape like this um, and then type the five key, notice how that's gonna come in here and that's gonna slice this. So you can use that to slice the geometry across here. So there's also a tool in here for creating an edge pipe. And so the edge pipe is going to basically create a pipe shape in here. So let's say I was to draw this out like this and then we were to tap the nine key. What the nine key is gonna do is that's gonna allow us to create an edge pipe based on the edges that we put in here. So notice how I can use the edge bevel in here in order to adjust this. Then I can also adjust the resolution up in order to create a higher resolution pipe like this. And so this one's a little bit twitchy. So notice how as you do this, um, the larger you make this and the larger like your edge bevel is, the more overlap you have. So you gotta be a little bit careful with what you do on this one, but it can be a really easy way to add some detail and some additional piping on this face. And so you can also use selection tools in order to adjust what you can do with this, uh, with this tool. So let's say for example, that we wanted to add some ridges on this face. So what you could do is you could come in here with grid modeler and I'm gonna hold the alt key, scroll this up to make this a little bit bigger. Then I'm just gonna draw a simple rectangle like this. So what I've done is I've drawn a shape that's gonna cut into this face. However, what you can do is you can right click to go into selection mode. Well, what selection mode does is that allows you to edit your selection. And so this allows you to do things like um, tapping the G key to go to move, the, um, tapping the R key to rotate, as well as having some other functions like the array function. So if I tap the D key, for example, I can move my mouse and I can create a copy. Or if I hold the shift key and scroll up, notice how this is going to let me create multiple copies in here. So this is a really fast way to create arrays of shapes using grid modeler. So now if I was to click, right click to go back into my um, edit mode and then type the Q key, you can see I could use this in order to quickly create those multiple different cuts in here using this tool. So you can also tap the C key with the array tool active in order to create a rotational array rather than this array. So that's kind of an overview of this tool. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you interested in this tool? Did you enjoy this tutorial? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.